Welcome to Kip TV, a visual university for kids. Today I will be reading out the book Lama Lama Loves Camping by Anna Diorni. Lama Lama goes camping for the very first time and learns a valuable lesson. What seems scary can actually be super duper fun. Let's see how he faces new and challenging situations. in this adventure I am excited to go camping tomorrow Lama Lama tells his friends He has never camped overnight before Neither has Nelly Nu Luna Gilroy or Euclid It will be super fun Mama Lama says And Grandma Lama and I will be with you whole time Camping is going to be very different from being at home says Lama Luna nods We'll be out in the open under the trees and sky and we won't have any kitchen or house things like a refrigerator an oven or lights says Gilroy Euclid looks worried after all he loves gadgets we can't use any machines while we camp he asks that's right says mama lama we are just going to bring the essentials essentials are the few things we really need but don't worry Euclid It's only for one day and night. The next day is warm and sunny as the campers arrive at the campground. Welcome to our overnight adventure in the woods, says Grandma Lama. Lama Lama and his friends cheer loudly. Everyone has one bag. except for Euclid he is carrying two don't worry he explains i only brought the essentials that's a lot of essentials nelly says with a laugh <laughs> okay campers says mama lama let's go for a hike while it's still light outside Euclid pulls a handheld gadget out of one of his bags. I can plug a route into my directional device. He says, "Remember Euclid?" Lama says kindly, "No gadgets allowed." Euclid sighs. "Okay," he says, putting it away. Mama Lama leads the campers along a trail in the woods. Wow, says Lama, looking around. These trees are so tall. I wonder how tall they are. Euclid says. Can I measure them with my digital tape measure? Luna shakes her head. No gadgets, she reminds him. Oh yeah. Euclid says. When the group gets farther into the woods, Mama Lama asks the campers to stop for a moment. Let's listen to the sounds of nature. She says. What do you hear? Lama pauses. I hear a bird chirping. He says. I hear leaves rustling. Says Luna. I hear a tree creaking. Says Gilroy. Nelly points to a bee. I hear him buzzing. She says. I hear all that too. 
says Euclid. And I hear water flowing in the distance. The sounds in the woods are very different from the sounds at home, says Luna. Yeah, says Nelly. Those are machine sounds. Beep, ring, ring, view, view. She laughs at her imitation of a siren. Euclid pulls a tape recorder and a camera from his bag. I want to make a recording to remember the sounds, he explains. Mama Lama smiles at Euclid. For this trip, let's just listen hard to remember everything, she says. I forgot, says Euclid. This no gadgets thing is tougher than I thought. After they hike, Lama and his friends help Mama Lama and Graham set up camp. Instead of a house, they have a tent. Instead of a refrigerator, they have a cooler with ice. And instead of an oven, they have a roaring campfire. It takes a work to camp out, says Mama Lama. But it helps you appreciate the nice things you have at home a little more. Later, the campers eat a delicious dinner around the fire. And now it's time for dessert, says Grandma Lama, handing out sticks. Do we just eat these? asks Gilroy. No, says Graham. Laughing. <laughs> you eat these marshmallows after we roast them in the fire. As the sun sets, everyone roast marshmallows over the fire. They taste delicious. Even better than a dessert you make at home. It's getting pretty dark out, says Nelly. It is says Euclid. But it's pretty nice roasting marshmallows in nature, he adds, with no gadgets. Finally, it's time for bed. Inside the tent, the campers get cozy in their sleeping bags. Once they are all tucked in, Mama Lama has an idea Let's listen closely to the sounds outside and pretend they are music, she says. The campers close their eyes. They hear crickets chirping. They hear a bird calling. They hear the wind whooshing. Owl hooting. It sounds like they are all talking to each other, says Lama. The music of the forest is very peaceful. As they listen to the nighttime sounds, the campers slowly drift off to sleep. In the morning, Sunlight streams into the tent. The campers wake up feeling refreshed. Mama Lama and Graham are very proud of Lama and his friends for spending the entire night in the woods. But everyone is especially proud of Euclid. Good job! Cheers Lama Lama! You didn't use any gadgets on our camp out. Thank you, Euclid says. It was a fun challenge. I like the words. The other campers agree. Can we go on another hike before we leave? Nelly asked. 
He sure can, says Grandma Lama. But first, breakfast. We can use my electric waffle maker, says Euclid. Oh wait, he adds. That's kind of a gadget, isn't it? He has made it this far without using machines. He isn't going to stop now. Thank you for listening. If you like this video and would like to see some more books read aloud, remember to hit the subscribe button. Till next time.